Hello and welcome to Geospatial Intelligence Innovations, the podcast that explores the transformative technologies and innovations shaping the world of geospatial data and intelligence. I'm your host, Aybars Östuna, and I'm thrilled to have you back for episode 3. If you have been with us for the previous episodes, you know that we have covered some exciting ground from understanding the role of geospatial intelligence in decision-making to delving into its applications in industries like agriculture, urban planning, and disaster response. But today, we are shifting gears a little bit. We are going to take a step back and look at the history of geospatial technologies and how they have evolved from basic maps to the powerful geospatial intelligence systems we rely on today. We will also touch on the cutting-edge technologies that are taking geospatial data from the Earth to outer space and how these advancements are pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Let's start by taking a look at how geospatial intelligence has evolved over the years. In the beginning, geospatial intelligence was relatively simple. Imagine early explorers or cartographers, people mapping out the world based on their observations, creating maps with hand-drawn features and landmarks. These maps were extremely valuable, but they were also static, limited in detail, and often inaccurate. The first major leap in geospatial intelligence came with the advent of aerial photography during the early 20th century. During World War I, military forces began using airplanes to take photos from the sky providing a bird's eye view of terrain and enemy positions. This was a revolutionary shift in how military intelligence was gathered, providing far more detailed and timely innovation than ever before. As technology progressed, the launch of satellites in the 1960s brought geospatial intelligence into the realm of space. The first Earth-observing satellite, Landsat-1, was launched by NASA in 1972. This satellite revolutionized remote sensing by capturing images of Earth's surface in various spectral bands. For the first time, we could observe and monitor vast expanses of the planet from space. In the decades that followed, the technology continued to evolve. With the launch of more advanced satellites, the resolution of satellite imagery improved and the data collected began to offer incredible detail about everything from vegetation patterns to urban development. Meanwhile, advancements in geographic information systems allowed us to process, analyze and visualize this data in new ways. Suddenly, the ability to map and analyze our world in unprecedented detail was no longer limited to government agencies or the military. It was available to industries, researchers, and even the public. This evolution paved the way for the geospatial intelligence industry as we know it today, where satellite data GIS software and AI-driven analysis are transforming how we understand and respond to global challenges. Speaking of satellites, let's dive into the current state of satellite technology and its crucial role in geospatial intelligence. Satellites have come a long way since the early days of Landsat and today, They are a cornerstone of geospatial data collection. The world's reliance on satellite-based data is growing exponentially, as we now use satellites for everything from weather forecasting to monitoring climate change, assessing natural disasters, and managing agricultural practices. 
But there is one thing that has dramatically changed in recent years, the rise of small satellite constellations. Traditionally, Earth-observing satellites were large, expansive, and launched individually. They were often the domain of government agencies and large organizations, but the introduction of small satellites, often referred to as small sats, has completely shifted the landscape. These small, low-cost satellites are much more affordable to produce and launch, making satellite imagery and geospatial data more accessible than ever before. Private companies like SpaceX, Planet Labs and others are now launching constellations of small satellites, allowing for continuous monitoring of the Earth's surface at much higher frequencies than before. For example, Planet Labs operates a fleet of more than 200 small satellites in low Earth orbit, providing daily imagery of the entire Earth. This frequent data allows businesses and governments to track changes in real time, from deforestation and urban sprawl to the effects of climate change. And the best part? These satellites are constantly updated, offering new perspectives and insights every single day. This explosion of satellite data has led to a revolution in geospatial intelligence. Instead of relying on a handful of satellites that might only capture images once every few months, the availability of near real-time data allows for more precise monitoring faster decision-making, and improved resource management. Now that we have a better understanding of how satellite technology is shaping geospatial intelligence, let's talk about the role of AI in transforming this industry. We have touched on AI briefly previous episodes, but today we will take a closer look at its applications in processing and analyzing geospatial data. One of the most exciting developments is the ability to automate the analysis of satellite imagery and other geospatial data using AI-powered algorithms. Traditionally, analyzing satellite imagery required manual interpretation by experts, a time-consuming and often expensive process. But AI has made this process much faster and more efficient. Machine learning algorithms can now automatically detect and classify objects within satellite images, whether it's identifying buildings, roads, forests, or even cars. This automation has drastically increased the speed at which geospatial intelligence can be generated. It also reduces the risk of human error and increases the scalability of these operations. For example, after a natural disaster like an earthquake or hurricane, AI can quickly process satellite images and identify the areas most affected by the event, such as damaged infrastructure, flooded zones, or displaced populations. This enables aid organizations and government agencies to make data-driven decisions in real time, helping them allocate resources more efficiently. AI is also improving the accuracy of predictions. In the case of climate change, machine learning algorithms can analyze vast amounts of historical geospatial data and identify patterns that humans might miss. These patterns can then be used to predict future changes, such as where floods or wildfires might occur, helping communities better prepare for these events. Another area where AI is having a major impact is in object detection and tracking. For example, AI systems can monitor and track ships at sea, monitor deforestation in rainforests, or even detect illegal mining or fishing activities. By using AI to continuously analyze geospatial data, 
these systems can provide real-time alerts about potential threats or violations. Looking ahead, one of the most exciting developments in geospatial intelligence is the increasing role of space-based technologies. As we have already discussed, the technology behind Earth observation satellites is evolving rapidly. But what about the future of geospatial intelligence in space itself? Space-based geospatial intelligence goes beyond Earth observation. It's about using satellite systems to monitor outer space, space debris, and even distant celestial bodies. And believe it or not, this is a field that is becoming more relevant as the world's space infrastructure expands. The launch of satellite constellations isn't limited to Earth observation. Companies like SpaceX and OneWeb are building global satellite networks for high-speed internet access. And as more satellites enter orbit, there is an increasing need to track and manage space traffic to prevent collisions. Space debris built up and other risks associated with human activities in space. In addition, space exploration missions are producing unprecedented amounts of geospatial data, which will provide invaluable insights about other planets, moons, and asteroids. NASA's Mars rovers, for example, send back detailed spatial data about the Martian surface. This data, when analyzed, could help scientists better understand the planet's geology, climate, and potential for life. The future of space-based geospatial intelligence holds incredible promise, not only for understanding our own planet, but for exploring new worlds beyond Earth. As satellite technology improves and more players enter the space industry, geospatial intelligence will continue to push the boundaries of human knowledge and exploration. So where does all of this leave us in terms of the future of geospatial intelligence? The next big frontier is the integration of even more advanced technologies like the Internet of Things. 5G networks and quantum computing into the geospatial intelligence ecosystem. These technologies will enable the continuous collection of real-time data from sensors around the world, providing an even richer, more dynamic picture of the Earth and beyond. For example, IoT sensors embedded in infrastructure such as bridges, roads and buildings will send data about their condition to geospatial intelligence systems in real time. This will allow for predictive maintenance, preventing issues before they become major problems. Meanwhile, advancements in 5G networks will enable faster data transmission, ensuring that geospatial intelligence can be accessed instantly, regardless of location. Combined with satellite imagery and AI-driven analytics, this will result in a more interconnected and responsive world. And let's not forget about the role of quantum computing. Quantum computers are capable of solving complex problems that would be impossible for classical computers, such as simulating entire ecosystems or predicting the behavior of weather patterns. As quantum computing advances, it could revolutionize the way we analyze geospatial data and model the world around us. That's all for today's episode of Geospatial Intelligence Innovations. We have taken a journey through the history of geospatial technologies, explored the rise of satellite constellations, and discussed the role of AI and the future of space-based geospatial intelligence. The future of GeoInt is incredibly bright and I'm excited to continue exploring it with you in future episodes. Thanks for tuning in and don't forget to subscribe to stay updated on the latest episodes. Until next time, keep exploring the world of geospatial intelligence and remember, what we can see, we can understand.